Warning, this product may cause cancer or reproductive harm, according to Proposition 65. Uh, of course, just about any fishing thing does, according to California. Of California. <laughs> but uh, today, we're starting with uh, uh, another unboxing video for our unboxing series. Indeed. Uh, and today, we're going to focus on the 10,000 fish, uh, like bundle kit type deal. Yep. Uh, this is by Catch Co, of course. 10,000 fish is a Catch Co brand. We know everybody has kind of uh, their own opinions on Catch Co. Uh, just to preface this, I do like some of their brands and several of their baits. Uh, but, you know, there's other stuff, other brands and other products they put out that I'm definitely not a fan of. Indeed. But uh, we'll go ahead and jump into this. Exactly. Because we know you guys want to see it. So, the box comes with this 10,000 fish outer sleeve. It is a dope looking sleeve though. Yeah. 10,000 10, 10, fish, I will say, is one of the sexier designed yeah, companies. It, it's just clean. It is. It's a clean it, it looks looking. good. But inside you got your standard corrugated box. It's pretty packed. Though. And <laughs> I, we should also preface, they tell you what you're going to be oh, getting yeah. this in this. This is not a mystery kit no. by any means. They tell you what you're going to get. Sizes and colors will vary, but you know the patterns of their lures that you'll be getting. And right off the top, you get their Neko. Their windscreen buff. Right. And, you know, we don't tend to use them. Uh, you know, we probably should. Yeah, honestly. I, mean, I don't want squeamish cell carcinoma. <laughs> like Matt Allen. Yeah. But uh, but at the same time, we don't really use them that much. But they are neat. They are neat. Uh, uh, I mean, that's a cool little bonus, I guess, if that's what you're into. It's gonna be Some people might this. feel like that takes away from the value of it. But I don't really, I'm not putting much of the value of the box on that. And, you know, if you like 10,000 Fish's patterns and their designs and stuff, you'll definitely like this. It is. It is good It's looking. cool. I like it. Yeah. I'm not bothered by it being in here. And then right next, we got some Sakoshi Bugs. Mm. This wouldn't be a 10,000 fish unboxing without Sakoshi bugs. And you guys know how much we love Sakoshi bugs, especially when we're smiley fish. Indeed. We this light is them up. The coffee craw color, which is a nice, really dark presentation. Uh, yeah, so if you guys are more familiar with like other companies' colors, this would be like a like a Canada craw mm -hmm. or like Z-Man. Smattered with a buttload of flake in there. Mm -hmm. And you know, Sakoshi bugs, I got that Stretch X. Indeed. Uh, basically Elastec. Um, really good baits. Yep. They really are. Especially up the nest jigs. Next, more Yoto worms, which are really popular among a lot of people. I'm not surprised they're in there. I have not had the pleasure of fishing with these yet. I do have a pack of these already. But I have a feeling I'm going to like them pretty well, so I'm not angry about getting another. Yeah, I know it's definitely one of the most popular baits. Um, I, I myself have had a pack for a long time. I don't ever really throw them. Uh, you know, uh, most people like to throw them on like a spinner bait or a uh, chatter bait. I feel like this size, the 4.75 inch, that's just a little big for me yeah. as a trailer. So I don't really do that. Uh, I could definitely throw it on a T rig. I, yeah. I just never really gave it the chance. So I, I probably will start giving mine a little more of a chance. Uh, shaky head. Yeah, definitely you put it on shaky head. Um, uh, I'll definitely start baby. trying it more. But yeah. Definitely something interesting, something new if you haven't fished with them already or if you have them and just haven't fished with them, you know, might as well have more. Next is the Willow Cycle Bait. Mm. This Very is interesting take. the 3 8 ounce, so a perfect, you know, pond size, what have you. And let, let's go ahead and take it out and explain it for those who don't really know what the cycle bait is. Yep. So I'll go ahead and say the cycle bait is a take on a it's really like an innovation of a spinner bait yep. uh, instead of actually like just sitting there like kind of like spinning it's basically just flopping around there doing mm -hmm. its thing causing flash and commotion uh they got those giant giant rings on there yep and <laughs> instead of on a normal spinner bait the actual head of the jig portion swings ah swings head so that's according, yeah. According to them, this is supposed to have more of a uh, hunting style action, mm -hmm. where it kind of weaves and around like a seek, seeking action, looking for it's bait. It's just not sitting there 
going in a straight line like a normal spinner bait yep. without you having to jerk it and all kinds of stuff to create action. Um, I have not fished with one before, Neither. but you know, uh, for this coming year, I'm going to be trying to get some spinnerbait fish. Yeah. That's something I haven't done. So having this in my arsenal, I will definitely use it and probably lose it. Yeah. This will be something new for both of us. I mean, mm -hmm. this is very interesting. I know they got really big in uh, 2020 and 20, or I mean, 2021 this year. Uh, Boy, it's a sharp hook. Yeah. Uh, and it is a good looking thing. It is the bluegill pattern and it's got a four aught hook. Mm -hmm. Three eighths ounce, this size. There's multiple sizes. But like we said, we don't have any experience with it, so we can't really give you a review of it. No. Nope. Uh, but we are excited to try it. Indeed. And spinner baits just work if you catch bass. Yep. So we, we know we'll probably catch something on it. They're also multi species too. You never know, you might get a striper on them. <laughs> Next is, if I can grab them, the saw craw. This is one I'm excited about. The four inch in watermelon red. Mm -hmm. The saw craw is the take on the Strike King. Um, rage craw. Rage craw, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is, of course, you guys know, it's my favorite jig trailer of all time, the Strike King rage craw. And there is There's nothing like it. Some similarity to be had. Yeah, they are strikingly strike keenly similar this <laughs> in is in profile and design yep as i said the watermelon red flavor that's personally my go-to for just about any soft plastic mm -hmm. um they got a decent amount of stretch to them i'll tell you what hmm. yeah let me let me fill that sucker well very interesting smell yeah. uh it's uh it's it's a crawl basically yeah kind of crawl kind of fish oil type smell Got your omega threes in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Love them fatty acids. Bass, bass like nothing more than a fatty acid. <laughs> but uh, you know, acid. for a lot of people, a craw is a craw is a craw. They just kind of work. And uh, I expect in the near future, after we fish with these a lot, expect a comparison of a bunch of different companies' craw oh, styles. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I think we also need to pick up the, uh, I think, I, I hate to do it, but we'll have to pick up some Kraken Crawls. Yeah. Just for comparison. Kraken Crawls, some Saw Crawls, and some... And you heard me right. I hate to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But finally, this, I believe this is the only uh, 10,000 fish packaging that comes in a bag. Yes. Yeah, okay. We will definitely point that out. If you guys hadn't noticed a pattern thus far, you get these boxes. Hate those and boxes. They are pretty, and they look good, and they're fish, fisherman catchers. Yeah. But man, they are a pain to store and carry around. If they converted from this box to this bag for everything, my life would be a lot easier. Right, and, and you might be like, well, I mean, it's not really adding a lot to the clamshell anyway. It is. All right? And it's 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 a hassle, and I don't like it. Yep. Change your ways, 10,000. Next. Or catch cow, whichever one you want to say. Well, I might as well state, you do get a sticker. 10,000 yeah. fish sticker. Yeah. Now, I like that. I, I, I just like stickers. And it's a good-looking sticker. It is a good-looking sticker. I got a sticker wall that I put all my decals on and stuff. I wouldn't mind putting this on my car. Um... <laughs> Then you get a little pamphlet of all the stuff that comes in it. Mm -hmm. Probably should have stated that earlier, but oh well. Well, and I would assume it teaches, or well, I mean, at least gives you an overview of how to fish it, uh, and just like an overview of the bait itself. Yeah, it just gives you some info about the bait. Um, next is the Death Stalker. This is another new one for us. Yes. Uh, we don't tend to throw blade baits a lot. Uh, Although around this time of year is when we yeah, should be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we should definitely be trying that right now. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get out and try this sucker out. But this is the half ounce, so this sucker's a half. It is intriguing. And it's in the classic pattern, which is a shad pattern. Mm -hmm. And has a nice little willow leaf blade back here to give yep. you some more flash. Yep. Uh, that's not something that all blade baits come with, and it's intriguing that this one does. Um, I've never fished with a blade bait before. Mm -hmm. 
that I can think of or remember. I've least. thrown around the old steel shads a little bit. I don't think I've ever caught anything on one though. Um, like we said, we just we just don't throw them enough. <laughs> but I imagine cold water, this will be really good. Uh, multi species crappie will definitely go after this sucker. It's a good size for them. Maybe on the big side, but still definitely a multi species catcher, I would think. Mm -hmm. um, half ounce, so this sucker is dense. Yeah. For its length. Yeah, that is something the blade baits tend to be. Uh, they can get pretty heavy in a small package, and this one definitely does. I mean, this is. This is very reminiscent of some higher end blade baits, almost like a gay blade or some sort, uh, mega bass type mm -hmm. blade baits. Uh, looks good and uh, it very intriguing. Indeed. And then last but not least, you get the small head hunter. Well, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say, you could possibly get the big one. Mm -hmm. um, this is in the License to Gill color we have a video on this exact yes, check that out. size and color. I think that will be above your head. Most likely. <laughs> Let's give it the sniff check. Cherries, yep. Oh. Smells like cherries still. Good on them. But uh, it's got a size two jig hook in it, from what I remember, it's a size two. And it magnetically doesn't lock, but sticks in the body, you know, hidden in the mm. fin here. And when it gets bit, it'll swing out that way it, it makes it a little more difficult for the bass to spit it indeed and then since it's hidden up here in these fins it's a bit more weedless mm. um i believe the smaller size is weight wise i think the smaller one itself is three quarters of an ounce i think so and then i think the bigger one's an ounce and a third it's yeah it's like it's really weird um half ounce three and a quarter inch half ounce Patent pending. Indeed. But, uh, no, caught a lot of fish on these. These absolutely destroy them. And this is a nice size for both casting and spinning. Mm -hmm. I primarily throw this size on spinning. Mm -hmm. And, uh, no, they're great. They're pretty pricey, too. So the fact that you get one in here is pretty decent. Indeed. I think that really caps off the box. Indeed. Because you know, that's something we fished with. We've caught fish on them. And we know they're just a good bait all around. Yep. Um... They are a solid pick if you're looking into trying uh, soft body swim baits. Mm -hmm. Last time I fished with it, it was actually Trey's, using Trey's rod and reel, which is left hand retrieve. And I don't, you, you guys should know this by now. I cannot hardly reel left handed. I, I just, I'm not dexterous with my left hand at all. And we got that on video. Yeah. Because my camera had died. Yeah, and I, I was ran over to you. Uh, <laughs> that was just a wild experience but good times good times with 10,000 fish we look forward to throwing more of this stuff overall how much was this kit this kit I'm a Carl's Club member so Indeed. I got some money off of this kit right but I remember it being $22 after tax after tax. And was it currently on sale for their holiday sale? Or? I do believe. I think, I think this, this may be a $30 like, kit. I think this is normally like $28 to $30. That sounds right to me. We which, will put this on here. Yeah. So don't freak out. Um, um, as but, well as all the prices for all the baits. You do get a lot of baits for the money. Mm -hmm. I mean, this sucker's $10 alone. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty sure these are... Uh, non-member price, I think they're like six. Mm -hmm. I think member price are like four fifty-seven. Yoda worms um, are probably four there. something, four something. Mm. Uh, and this is, you know, it's all dependent on whether you're a Carl's Club member or not. Yeah. Uh, we we will put the prices for both. Yep. Um, overall, I think it's definitely worth. It. Oh yeah, hundred percent. If, you, if you're a catch co guy or a ten thousand fish guy, try this. If you're not, I would definitely recommend you try ten thousand fish because. Uh, even if you've been turned off by other Catch Co. brands, I will say Catch Co. I mean, 2,000 Fish, they get my stamp of approval. Yeah, they're really good stuff. Uh, they're nothing like Goofy, so. No. <laughs> Wait, but with that, guys, check out our review video of the 10,000 Headhunter, 10,000 Fish Headhunter mm -hmm. at the end of this video, uh, and as well as some of our other unboxings. All right, check out our unboxings playlist. Tons of great unboxings from MTB to Strike King, 
couple different boxes from mm -hmm. them. Check them all out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and drop a comment down.